I think it's important because I felt that these students were robbed of their rights to an education. And these students were all capable of great things to come, and they were denied that. And in, in order to, to achieve what they did in their lifetimes, you know, so many, uh, so many um, roadblocks were placed in front of them, and yet they succeeded. Now, what would have happened if they were allowed to graduate from UBC? And when I found out about these students, I thought, well, you know, they were never, ever acknowledged or even identified. And so I thought, well, someone has to do something for them. And so I started this uh, quest to get them honorary degrees. Every phone call we made, there was joy. And, you know, there was so much joy in their voices. It, it, they just couldn't believe it. Yeah. It's so great. Well, the first thing they said to me was, you're kidding. Or if, if the student was, had already passed away, the, the widow or a, a child would say, oh, my dad would have been so happy. Um, and then, you know, I, some of them said that, oh, I could cry. I wish my dad was here to hear this news. Um, and then, in fact, some of them got so emotional that, you know, they, they couldn't say anything. I feel really good for the students. Really, I mean, this whole um, exercise was for the students. It wasn't for me. It wasn't for me at all, right from the beginning. My focus was totally to find justice for these students. That was my only goal. And then you can see if you can give it into Doug's hands or whomever. Okay? Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Right. Bye bye. Yeah. <clears throat> like, is there, what would yeah, you that's do? That's kind of private. <laughs> <laughs> it would be worth a lot of money. <laughs> there, Why don't we go out in the deck? And to the